Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Monday morning forecast update. Kind of a rude awakening to the week here as we do have a cold front coming through today. We'll trigger some scattered severe storms, especially by the late morning and early afternoon today. So the breakdown of today's threat, the areas in green here, will likely see the storms roll through uh, this morning through the early afternoon. Kind of a low threat for severe weather in these locations, but we really can't rule out maybe a damaging wind gust or some large hail with the storms that are uh, passing through between let's say sunrise and about uh, noon this afternoon. Once the storms get to the Texas Louisiana border they'll tap into some better ingredients to become severe so the severe weather threat will start to increase across Arkansas and Louisiana by the late morning early afternoon. Storms should be to Shreveport right around the middle of the day today so right around that lunch hour and as the storms move to the east here they'll uh, become even more dangerous as they move into uh, the Monroe viewing area over here. So we should see that severe weather window close for us uh, right around 4 or 5 p.m. this afternoon. If not a little earlier, it looks like this front will scoot through fairly quickly today. The main threat is going to be for damaging wind gusts, but there's uh, also potential to see some hail. And we can't rule out a few tornadoes. And that tornado threat will be highest in the yellow and orange areas here. Again, the orange area is uh, outside of our viewing area, but I think we could see a few storms here. There's I-49 through Shreveport. Any of these areas that are kind of east of I-49. That's where we'll be on the lookout for maybe a few storms that could bring a brief spin-up tornado maybe between about noon and uh, 4 p.m. today. And then the risk of flooding relatively low for us, but we could see some heavy rain, especially uh, mid to late morning in the northern Arkletex, so we can't rule out maybe just a few flooded roadways. So the uh, cold front that's going to be pushing all of this through, it will lag uh, behind the storms today, so we'll feel the cool down from this front tonight as well as tomorrow. But uh, the process of that worm and Humid air arriving ahead of the cold front is in play this morning, and that's why we're seeing some of those thunderstorms. There is a ton of wind energy. If you walk outside this morning, we're likely going to have a steady wind about 20 to 25 miles per hour, and there will be wind gusts today uh, up to maybe 40 to 45 miles per hour out of the south. So even without the storms, you get 40 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts that can bring down some tree limbs. So could see some scattered power outages just due to the high winds ahead of the storms this morning. And then uh, if we have any severe thunderstorms, Storms. That's when the wind gusts get above uh, 55, 60 miles per hour, and that's definitely uh, possible for us today. So again, damaging wind will be the main threat. So make sure you're not parking your car under any big trees or any big tree limbs uh, if you're headed to work or school today. So taking a look at your temperatures, we'll be in the low to mid 60s early this morning. It's not going to be a huge warm up today, given the rain will pop up uh, mid to late morning. So temperatures here expected to top out in the 60s and low 70s. Doesn't look like we'll see uh, much sun if any of that until much later this afternoon as we'll stay socked in under the clouds this morning. Uh, severe weather threat. You can see the storms uh, really beginning to take off here by about 10 or 11 o'clock this morning. So we should see this line of storms through Texarkana before lunchtime today. Shreveport, uh, high alert right around lunchtime. That's when we should see the strongest storms move through here. And you'll see the storms really begin to develop uh, once they're east of Shreveport. So that's why I think the severe weather threat could be a little higher over towards maybe Minden, Arcadia, uh, Red River Parish and then down towards Sabine and Natchitoches Parish is after the noon hour today. But the storm should clear uh, Natchitoches Parish by 4 or 5 p.m. today and then we can close the severe weather window. Can't rule out maybe just a few lingering showers. None of that would be severe uh, before sunset tonight. The rain will definitely taper off before midnight tonight. And you can see that cooler air uh, beginning to dry us out as we move through the day on Tuesday. Mentioned the heavy rain for the northern Arkletex since you'll see the storms uh, this morning and maybe a stronger push at some point by the late morning. We could see some areas here pick up maybe one to two inches of rain. Uh, Shreveport likely less than an inch of rain here showing about an inch uh, for the Texarkana area. And this will be our one shot for rain this week. We're going to dry out after today. We've got a couple of cool days in the 60s, but uh, the sun will be out. A few more clouds on Wednesday. Uh, we're back into the 70s Thursday and Friday, and it will be a warm Easter weekend. Your Easter weekend uh, temperature is likely in the low to mid 80s. I think everybody around this area knows about our history with severe weather over Easter uh, weekends in the past uh, 30 to 40 years here. It seems like we always have some kind of severe weather threat over Easter weekend. Thankfully, that does not look to be the case uh, with this upcoming weekend. I think we'll have some storms come back next week, but right now Easter weekend looking dry and fairly warm with those highs in the 80s.